Through the night, in the grim sight of the mind, I awake and gain sight of the conscious mind. In all walks of life, this is the diary of your lives. I don't know where this place was, but um, at least these two girls, they were like either cousins or sisters. I think they were cousins. And, you know, the way they started like arguing about something, but one of them, I think she had, she had blonde hair and she said something about, because we don't meet on the 23rd and the 25th. And the way she walked like that, and, and the one that behind her started saying something back. She walked the same way, like, you know, they, they they were upset, but they um they show the same manners. And just one of them is like, let's try to do as well. And uh and they walked away from this guy that was sitting there, which you know he got there by the way it was a poetry book because uh, the blonde one told him, would you uh you know would you uh like to hear a poem? And he said, I write them. <laughs> So he went on to look for his poetry book. He was looking around, he found it actually. The place to win was like a it was like an open area, but it was also I don't say hills and valleys, but it, it almost seemed like it was a somewhat like quiet place, but something before happened. This guy, um, I don't know, it's like he, I don't know if he was right, it reminded me of this kid, Drew. I don't call him Drew, it's called, but whatever, Andrew, he used to live, uh, uh, you know, uh, Elizabeth, he just reminded me of, and it's like he was walking, running, and something fell on him, including glass, a glass shadow over him, and a box fell on him, but the glass later, it was like in in his back over here, and they were like trying to take it out, and someone was holding holding the, the this box, this crate, and it had it was like a crate, but it was like it had legs and stuff, and they were trying to position it so, uh, so it, it you know it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt him, I guess, you know. And then, I don't know, I guess they were trying to take the glass out. I didn't see, but it, it was freaking accident, like you know, the whole thing shattered, and fell on him, and glass just to topple to him. So I don't know if it would, like, maybe someone imagined it like that. It, it was just freaky, freaky accident. Like, and the woman sat there, and she was like, you know, and he was talking, he was calm, he wasn't crying, and he was like, he wasn't in pain, he didn't seem in pain. Also, it was something about uh, uh, either a trucking job, one person had a trucking job, and, you know, I don't know, I'm not saying he was in the same position, I don't know, he was like, what if I don't make it in this company, and it's like, you know, he's like, I gotta go job, job, like, it, was, it was job insecurity, I felt, you know? It was, you know, those two girls were there, and they showed up later, you know, and, um, yeah, I spent a lot of time because, you know, I had to smoke my pipe, but I put it down. It was just, you know, it was like a whole, I don't want to say village, but it was like a, almost rural, and the two girls, you know, the, one of them, especially the blonde one, you know, she was very intoxicated, for lack of a better word, intoxicated with, uh, with words, kidnavel. Can only had Canavo and Canavo, and like and, and some kind of writing. Like she must have been like heavy into literature, which you know, she wasn't. Uh, she didn't seem like she was an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't have said that. I guess you know she was really into that. She just really enjoyed it, you know. Uh, and, and the way she would like stretch her toes, it's like something I do. She just, she just stretching her, and that's her toes by her feet. She started doing it, and the guy next to her did the same thing. <laughs> um, I do the same thing. It's like to, to you know, uh, just m the certain movement. So I remember that. What else? I didn't. I didn't give a timestamp. Uh, let me see. Uh, 
I don't know, it's it's like I just woke up from that. It was like a it was like my, my old dreams, but not entirely like a movie. It was just it was just very vivid. So it wasn't like the, uh, some dreams I had. It was still a pretty good uh pretty good dream, pretty nice dream. And um it had to be something else. I just can't can't I can't come up with it right now. It was just, you know, that freaky accent or whatever it was. Oh, and then, though, like, you know, there was something like, you know, please don't tell me they got those Chinese dogs or something. It was like these little, it was like figurines, but they were just moving. It was very odd. Maybe someone was imagining it. And also, it was there's something about white, little white puppies with lights around here. And it's like, you know, they had to have them in certain areas, you know? And like these puppies over there, they were, they were either like golden retrievers or something like that, or like, you know, either, or like small dimension, but without the spots. And they were just white, and they had to stir certain areas with the lights. It was very freaky, very odd. Not too disturbing, I was like, why, you know, what is it with that? I don't know, it's... And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, like with the guy when he went to get some of his poetry book, you know, it reminded me of something that I had. So I was thinking, I was like, is that mine? And it was just, you know, it wasn't, it was like, uh, I think he had, I don't know, a pencil or a pen, but it was very flimsy like. It was brownish or darkish. And he took that poetry book, he went back. See his other two, two females, and those others to like read it out. I don't think he ever got the chance, and you know, because they were walking out and about, he couldn't find them anywhere. So he found them just like I think it, it, my dream. I think my dream ended right there. I couldn't see it. Um, <clears throat> so that's that, and I was like, you know. I don't know, for some reason, this dream, like, everything was dark. Especially with the dogs, it was, like, nighttime. But maybe the way I saw it in the dream, I don't know. Oh, also something else. It was very odd. Uh, like, I woke up, and I think... Um, one of the pills was just away. I don't know if I, I shoved it or kicked it. I don't know, man. I don't know what I was doing. I'm never going to core myself, you know, when I sleep. My sleeping pattern, although... Stupid behavior, but there was something about, you can't put it together. It was very odd. It was like, uh, uh, I can't verbalize it. It was, you know, someone defending them. Oh, they would have liked you too or something like that. It was something, something else. <clears throat>